EastEnders tackles sensitive topic, Yolanda Truman's sexual assault storyline unfolds, highlighting the grooming tactics of trusted figures. With the help of expert consultation, the show delves into the profound impacts and complexities of such experiences, aiming to raise awareness and dispel stereotypes. Premieres April 17. Yolanda Truman's tale about sexual assault will feature on EastEnders. To ensure that this story is presented as truthfully and delicately as possible, EastEnders has collaborated closely with subject matter experts. A new scenario in which Yolanda Truman is sexually attacked by Pastor Clayton, a man she perceives to be her close friend and confidant, is being developed by EastEnders in collaboration with the charities Hourglass and End Violence Against Women Coalition. Yolanda will find it difficult to accept the attack from a man she thought she could trust as the plot develops since it affects every part of her life, including her relationship with Patrick. As it becomes apparent that this is not Pastor Clayton's first offense, the sequences will be aired in an hour-long program on Wednesday, April 17. Additionally, there will be flashback recollections of women who have been sexually attacked by him in the past. To ensure that this story is presented as truthfully and delicately as possible, EastEnders has collaborated closely with subject matter experts. This is an important story that we hope will raise awareness of how women at any age can be groomed by someone in a position of power, EastEnders executive producer Chris Clenshaw said of the plot. Our collaboration with Hourglass and the End Violence Against Women Coalition was essential to accurately and respectfully presenting Yolanda's tale of sexual assault. The End Violence Against Women Coalition's director, Andrea Simon, stated of Yolanda's story, We're proud to work with EastEnders on this important storyline. Women of all ages and backgrounds experience sexual assault, but many discover they are not believed or treated properly. This has serious ramifications for older women, black women, and other marginalized groups, and it severely limits their access to justice and support. Television programs have the power to significantly influence societal opinions. Our goal is to raise awareness of sexual assault by debunking misconceptions and prejudices about the appearance of victims, survivors, and offenders. Veronica Gray, the deputy CEO and director of policy at Hourglass, described the plot as historic for all elderly abuse victims in the UK and around the world. With a plot centered around the all-too-common unseen horror of elder sexual abuse, EastEnders finally pulls this subject from the shadows and into the public eye. We hope that this will spark a meaningful discussion in a lot of UK homes. We are thrilled to collaborate with EastEnders on this plot as advisors, and we were struck by the scriptwriting team's enthusiasm and commitment to being genuine and polite. Elder abuse can take many different forms, and Hourglass encourages anybody who has been impacted to get in touch with us. In a new plot, EastEnders will examine the sexual assault of older women. In order to examine how the sexual assault happens to women of all ages and backgrounds, EastEnders will employ a new plot line. Pastor Gideon Clayton, a close friend and confidant of Yolanda Truman, Angela Winter, will sexually abuse her in a future installment. The BBC serial opera is collaborating on the plot with the End Violence Against Women Coalition and the elder abuse charity Hourglass. Director of the End Violence Against Women Coalition Andrea Simon stated, Women of all ages and backgrounds experience sexual assault, but many find they aren't believed or taken seriously. Women of color, older women, and other marginalized groups are disproportionately affected by this, which has serious ramifications for their ability to receive assistance and justice. Television programs have the power to significantly influence societal opinions. In the end, we hope this storyline increases understanding of sexual assault by helping dispel myths and stereotypes about what victims and survivors look like and how perpetrators behave. Yolanda will suffer after the incident which will have an effect on both her life and her relationship with partner Patrick Truman, who is portrayed by Rudolph Walker. Next week, an hour-long show including The Scenes, which feature flashbacks of women who have been sexually abused by Clayton in the past, will premiere. This is a historic moment for all older victims of abuse in the UK and beyond, stated Veronica Gray, Deputy Chief Executive and Head of Policy at Hourglass. EastEnders, with its plot centered around the all-too-common unseen horror of elder sexual abuse, finally pulls this subject from the shadows and into the public eye. We anticipate that this will spark a significant discussion in a lot of UK homes. We are thrilled to be working with EastEnders on this tale as advisors for Hourglass, and we were struck by the scriptwriter's enthusiasm and commitment to being genuine and courteous. 
There are many different types of elder abuse, and Hourglass encourages anyone who has been impacted to get in touch with us. Fans of BBC EastEnders point out serious problems with Sharon Watts' arrest sequence and point out mistakes. Fans of EastEnders, who think Sharon Watts is to blame for Keanu Taylor's death, have pointed out a grave error when they see her being questioned by police tonight. During Sharon Watts' police interrogation tonight, EastEnders witnessed a monumental error. Police started questioning Sharon about Keanu's death after his body was discovered last week. Fans will recall that Linda Carter killed Keanu with a meat thermometer during the Christmas season. Nonetheless, spectators witnessed a grave error as Johnny Carter, Linda Carter's son, showed up to defend Sharon during the police interrogation over her involvement in Keanu's passing. There's no way Johnny could represent Sharon, would there? One of the last persons to see Keanu was his mother. Her and Sharon's role in this fight between Nish and Keanu is known to the police. Is there not a conflict of interest here? On Reddit, one fan pondered, and another added in response, saying, plus aside from that, Sharon is his mother's best friend so it would probably be conflict anyway to represent someone he knows so well. The actress who plays Sharon, Letitia Dean, has previously discussed how the six will handle the body's discovery. It's the unthinkable situation for every one of them. They have avoided every obstacle thus far, some more effectively than others, but this one cannot be avoided, she said, describing what will happen next. Her primary worry is Albie. Sharon, having accepted her impending fate, goes straight to Phil and demands that he take care of their son. Naturally, he is unaware of her true intentions, but she needs to ensure that their son would be protected in the event that something were to happen to her. Although the events of Christmas will always bind Sharon and Linda together, might they both be held accountable for what transpired? Christmas has changed all of the women, and I believe this secret will keep them together forever, the woman remarked. The terrible truth is that Keanu could have killed Sharon if Linda hadn't intervened, and that's an extremely difficult fact to accept in the midst of everything else. Since Sharon can't accept that in her universe, I don't even think she wants to believe it. Sharon is determined to support Linda and assist her in navigating things with the other women now that she is back. She doesn't seem to have a strategy, and I don't think any of them do either, they're just going forward, crossing their fingers. Yolanda from EastEnders was sexually raped in a recent plotline. According to a new plot revealed by EastEnders, Pastor Gideon Clayton, played by Howard Sadler, her close friend and confidant, will sexually abuse Yolanda Truman, played by Angela Winter. The next week, RT1 and BBC One will also broadcast an hour-long program with Yolanda at its center. As the storyline progresses, Yolanda will struggle to come to terms with the assault from a man whom she believed she could trust as it impacts all aspects of her life, including her relationship with Patrick, the soap's creators stated. The scenes will air in an hour-long episode on Wednesday, April 17 and will also include flashback accounts of women who have previously been sexually assaulted by Pastor Clayton as it becomes clear that this is not his first offense. In order to ensure this story is portrayed as accurately and sensitively as possible, EastEnders claimed it had collaborated with specialists from the UK Charities and Violence Against Women Coalition and Hourglass, which focuses on issues related to the abuse of elderly people. This is a significant story that we hope will raise awareness of how women at any age can be groomed by someone in a position of power, said EastEnders executive producer Chris Clenshaw. It was vital for us to work alongside End Violence Against Women Coalition and Hourglass to truthfully present and sensitively portray Yolanda's sexual assault storyline. The End Violence Against Women Coalition's director, Andrea Simon, stated, We're honored to collaborate with EastEnders on this significant plot. Women of various ages and backgrounds experience sexual assault, yet many find that their stories are disregarded or untrue. This has serious ramifications for the access that marginalized groups, older women, black women, and others, have to justice and support. Television programs have the power to significantly influence societal opinions. Our goal is to raise awareness of sexual assault by debunking misconceptions and prejudices about the appearance of victims, survivors, and offenders. Deputy CEO and Director of Policy at Hourglass, Veronica Gray, stated, This is a historic time for all elderly abuse victims in the UK and worldwide. EastEnders, shaping a storyline around the too often hidden nightmare of sexual abuse of older people, finally brings this issue out of the shadows and into public consciousness.
According to Gray, Hourglass is hoping that the plot will start an important conversation in many households. Please subscribe our channel.